Hi, I'm Rachel from Gentle Frog, and in today's video of QuickBooks Training, we're going to talk about how to email an invoice from QuickBooks. start by clicking on the left, clicking the button that says New. Under the column of Customers, I'm going to select Invoice. You might have a different route to go about this, and that's okay. Um, I, I just happen to like this route, but I want you to think of it like going to the grocery store. You can take any route that makes sense for you as long as you get to this screen. So I'm going to pick my customer. It's going to be Sample Customer. My Sample Customer, um, interestingly enough, has the same email address that I do. I'm going to skip all this stuff in the middle because this isn't a video of how to create the invoice. I'm just going to create an invoice for us. So, what I want you to notice is I've got sample customer up here, I've got the description in the lower right hand corner, I've got a balance due, and I have a big, big blank space underneath in between the default messages for the invoice and the pricing. I'm going to click on save and send in the lower right hand corner. I look over the email and I see the subject line makes sense. I like the subject line. I look at the body of the message and I like the body of the message. I'm going to choose send and close. To get back to that invoice, a quick shortcut is to click on the magnifying glass and then choose the hyperlink for the invoice. This is the recent transactions, so this won't always work, but this works for our example. So now what I can see just below my name sample customer is the last time the invoice was sent. So it was sent by email to Rachel on December 4th. If I scroll down, in that remember I told you to look at this middle section? A second ago this was entirely blank. Now I can see on today's date that I've sent an invoice. I'm going to go ahead and click the X in the upper right hand corner. Pull over my email. So this is my work email. If I click on this, I can see the invoice that I've just sent myself, Dear Sample Customer. Um, it's my sample QuickBooks file. So I've looked at the invoice, I look at the PDF, I'm happy with all this. And so now I'm going to take off my customer hat and go back to my business owner hat. What I want to do is I want to look at that invoice again. So I'm going to go over here, click on the magnifying glass, click on the invoice, and scroll down. And now you can see that I is the business owner of Sample Company sent an invoice to Sample Customer. And then a moment ago, I as Sample Customer viewed the invoice. So this is kind of a nice way just to make sure that you've sent out the invoice as you intended and that you sent it to the correct email address. If you sent it to the wrong email address or if it got spam filtered, your client wouldn't be able to view the invoice. So I really like this just because you can see if a client has been able to view the invoice, you can also see when they view the invoice. So I can see that I sent the invoice at 8.50, and then at 8.51 a.m. my client viewed the invoice. My client just happens to be me for the purpose of this video. So it's kind of a cool trick that's available for invoices that is not available for sales receipts. Sales receipts, you'll see this on the top, but you won't see the stuff on the bottom. Please let me know if you get stuck or have any questions. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. Thank you.